And good evening everybody, Chimp Pound Martin and Elliot here, hope you're going well. I'm just about to do a unboxing. I recently won Olivia's physical record on vinyl on eBay. So, uh, let's gonna do a bit of a unveiling, we're gonna talk about the album. Uh, so, well first, first, first things first, right, the uh, sleeve is basically not being put together properly, but it is a original album on EMI, produced by John Farrah. Uh, as you can see, got the original stuff, which I like original vinyls, even though I don't have a vinyl player myself, because, you know, I live a minimalistic life. I've only got one of the album on vinyl, and that is Peter Gabriel's So. So I thought, yeah, Peter Gabriel needs some company, so that's why I got Olivia. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, this. The album, basically, the songs are written by various people, like Landslide's written by John Fyra, uh, Strangers Touch by John Fyra and Steve Kipper, who also wrote Physical, Make a Move and Read, John Fyra, Tom Snow, another famous songwriter. Uh, then see, Falling was also written by John Fyra, Love Makes You Strong by T. Britton and S. Schiff. And T. Britton wrote What's Love Got To Do It? I think he's a British Australian songwriter as well. Uh, then the other side, Physical was written by Steve Kipper and Terry Shattuck, who also worked with Tina Turner. Uh, then Silver Rain, Hank Marvin, who was part of Cliff Richard and the Shadows Band. <laughs> Never really been a fan of Cliff Richard, but uh, I got a bit of Cliff Richard joke to tell you a bit later, <laughs> but not in this video. Uh, then there's Carried Away, was written by Barry Gibb. Uh, funny thing about this song, Carried Away. It was actually supposed to be on that Barry Gibb, Barbra Streisand album, Woman in Love. She rejected it, so Barry gave it to his best friend. And then uh, Recovery, written by John Farah, T. Stowe. Like, Recovery is like one of my favorite Stoner songs to listen to if I smoke the right one. But I don't do 420 because I'm a smart man. And then the last song is The Promise, the Dolphin song, which is written by Olivia. Fortunately, Olivia didn't really write many of her hits. She wrote many of the songs. But, uh, you know, that's basically how it is, you know. So, we've got the, uh, you know, like a lyric sheet and all. So, we'll just stick the record into its proper protection. Oh, it fits, so I can... Okay, so, uh... We'll talk about the musicians who are on this album, so like Landslide, written by John Farah. Uh, Carlos Vega, who was a great drummer who died about 25 years ago, he played drums in Timpani. Michael Bodica, Polymog, and then basically John Farah did all the other instruments, the guitar for Kurt on bass guitar. Strangers Touch also by Carlos Vega on drums, and John Farah as his usual, like a multi-instrumental. Michael Bodek on synthesizers. Uh, then Make a Move on Me. Uh, usual Carlos Vega on drums, Tom Snow, who wrote the song. Prophet synthesizer, and John Farr as usual. Then we get to mm, Falling, written by John Farr, Bill, Bill Kumo on Prophet synthesizer, Michael Bodek on Falling Mog synthesizer, Michael Boats on cymbals. John Farah on guitar, bass guitar, and background vocals. And uh, the next song, Love Makes You Strong, written by Terry Britton, Sue Schifrin, uh, Carlos Vig on drums and percussion, Michael Bodek on the yeah, piano, synthesizer with Fakoda, and John Farah on guitars, bass guitar, and background vocals. Now we get to the main hit of this song, was uh, Physical. You probably can't see it right here. Uh, it's got an amazing lineup of artists in this one song, okay? Carlos Vig on drums and Hugo Cup. David Hungate on bass guitar, who played on Toto. Uh, Lenny Castro on percussion. Lenny Castro has done many sessional albums. Um, I think he's Cuban or Puerto Rican, I'm not too sure. Oh yeah, then Steve Lukather, guitar solo. Well, Steve Lukather played on many Olivia, of Olivia's albums, like Totally Hot, Physical, and Soul Kiss. And also, various members of Toto also played on Olivia albums, including the late Jeff Porco, played on some of Olivia's albums in the 1970s, as far as I remember. 
And so the funny thing was like uh, John Farr was doing like the work and he was like uh, I, I want to make a guitar solo so it was like no I'm gonna get Steve Lukather to do it so he bought in Steve Lukather Lukather bought in a new guitar like a, a, it was a rosewood and then he like, he hadn't even tuned it up and so he just did the guitar solo in a couple of takes and so that was quite amazing well, uh, then who else we got there we got Bill Kimio on Prophet Synthesizer, Gary Herbig on Horns, like the, we always like the, the saxophone part, and then also John Farrell playing guitar and background vocals. Uh, the Steve Luke, the guitar solo on Physical, was actually the first ever guitar solo I could play, and like one of the first songs I could, like, ever learned. It's like normally most kids learn how to play Smoke on the Water, that's too easy. I, 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 I wanted to up my game, say, hey, I'm gonna up my game. I'm gonna like learn to play physical by Alan J, which I did. No, no uh, the bad manners. Okay, let's see. Then we got we got a Silver Rain. Let's see, Carlos Vega, Michael Bodick, Bill and Como, and David Homan on Crop Duster, Michael Bartz and Percussion, John Farrow on guitar and bass and back and vocals. Uh, then we got Carry Away that was written by Barry Gibb. Uh, Carlos Vega, John Hub, Steve Lukather, yes, good old mate Steve Lukather of Toto, uh, on acoustic guitar, Tom Snow, acoustic piano, Michael Burdick, Wave 2, digital synthesizer, John Farr, guitar and vocals. Um, <laughs> I kind of find it weird that Barry Gear wrote this song, but he doesn't do backing vocals, because years later, Barry and Olivia worked together on his solo album on a song, Face to Face. Uh, then we've got Recovery, written by John Farrow, Tom Snow, uh, Michael Bortz on drums, which is not Carlos Vega, which I assumed, uh, Lenny Cash on percussion, Victor Feldman written on the marimba, yes, the marimba, it's like a xylophone. I, I heard a lot of marimba when I was in Guatemala many years ago, people walking on the streets playing the marimba at Christmas time, fantastic. And then, uh, Tom Snow and Prophet synthesized John Fire guitars, bass guitar, and background vocals. And then the last song to finish it off, uh, The Promise of Dolphin Song, Carlos Vega on drums, Michael Bodick on synthesizer. They, they got the they recorded audio of dolphins themselves, so they got the credit. Uh, the ocean was filmed in Santa Monica, which uh, surprisingly this these photo shoots was actually done in uh, Oh, where was it done? It was Malibu. Uh, no, we said that was Hawaii. Like, yeah, the photos were done by Hawaii in Hawaii, and uh, yeah, and also John Farb did the guitarist and and the bass parts. The uh, album says it yeah, like produced by John Farr as usual, recorded and mixed by David G. Holman. Doesn't ring a bell. Just recorded record once to the Los Angeles Ocean Way. Uh, I mean, it was called Los, Los Angeles because Liv was living, living in LA at the time. Uh, but also, the interesting thing is this woman down here. Uh, I don't know if you can read it, but Fleur, Fleur Femea. Fleur Femea did all the costumes and wardrobe for Olivia for many years. And was, what she actually did was actually she cut the like neck of a, one of the shirts. And that's how it became Olivia's headband. So the interesting thing about Fleur Thermae is, apart from working with Olivia, she worked with so many different artists, even in the heavy metal field, like Ozzy Osbourne, uh, Motley Crue, The Scorpions, even Queensryche, I can't believe that. Uh, she worked with Lita Ford, she worked with like Warlock. She did so much amazing work, and I take my hat off to her, Fleur Thermae. I've been lucky to talk to her online if we a few bits on Instagram, and hopefully one day, if I do go back to Australia, I will catch up with her over coffee. Yeah, and uh, so who else was also working on the album? Oh yeah, photography Herb Ritz, who died many years ago. Uh, also on the Sulcus album, he did work on the photography along with the late Helmut Newton, an icon from Germany. Uh, then there's hair and makeup by Armado Cozy, graphics Michael, Kevin Lee, and Gilbert. Special thanks Roger Davies, Donna Sharp, Tim Wilson, Tim, oh, we've got everything audio, Larry Guy. Thanks to Sea Life Park, Honolulu, Hawaii, especially to Kalo, 
Helio and Nico. Yeah. And then it's basically this was the uh, what do you call like a gatefold. So open it up. So what was like the if you ask me the posing was basically a knockoff of uh, Greta Garba because Greta Garba did it first. Then Olivia did this. Then you know Madonna knocked that off in True Blue. And uh, yeah. And also also the gatefold is uh, Olivia swimming with the dolphins. So it says, I am only made one, if I can only make one man aware of one person I care, then I'll have done what I've promised you. See, Luna and John actually boycotted playing in Japan because they were killing dolphins. And uh, that was quite an iconic song to write about dolphins. And basically, many, 40 years later, I mean, is Japan still killing dolphins? I think so, but Olivia did play Japan many times, including in 2010, yeah. So, yeah, physical, it's been 41 years since this album came out. I actually did own this on vinyl, I bought this in New Zealand before I gave it to a friend. Uh, I'm thinking of giving to a friend of mine, uh, Stu or Nigel, because they're more bigger Olivia fans than I am, but it would be quite nice to keep this on the wall. But, I... Honest to God, I mean, I can only listen to like 1980s Olivia and John albums, and as well as Totally Hot. I can't listen to Grease because I don't, and Lost Sanity because they're soundtracks. I do like Physical, I do like Soul Kiss. Uh, the Rumor is an okay album, I guess. So I don't touch Woman 10 because it's a kid's album. And I do like Totally Hot because it's got Steve Lukather on as well. <laughs> so anyway, this is Martin the Melhead over and out.